straddled rooms, resigned chambers, dump cabinets awaiting quarters. There is no borderline between black and white there. This is where graves the battlefield where father used to hit mother. The mother bore it because after that he cried, begged for forgiveness, professed his love to, for her. That's where I was whispering and you were shouting. You are multiple. But then it started to repeat again and again and again and again. And it heightened. Father yelled that everything was actually her fault, that this usually goes. Their first daughter was two to seven then. There were always many blackbirds in their garden. Later the situation calmed down. Father stopped. Deep memory of their daughter remembered love, because mum and dad do mean love. In inseparable connection with Tortman and blackbirds, which used to sing in the early morning when she was waking up to his roaring. She realized she could control her hearing so that her father's voice, however close and loud, was weaker than the singing of blackbirds, distant and silent. At that time, she, of course, had no idea what hearing was. She knew what ears were, were for, for listening and eyes for looking and crying. When she grew up, she decided to become an ornithologist. She has a husband and two beautiful children, but she still misses something in her life because her husband is good to her. We never perceive anything, any phenomenon and floods as such. We always associated with certain attributes. There is nothing in so far sheer as not to be compound. Everything is constructed from several ingredients, even the very chemical elements. The biggest contribution of Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev was not the table of chemical elements, but the cultivation of vodka. 1864 dissertation on the combination of water with alcohol, five years before postulation of the periodical table. Nothing can be comprehended as essentially. Pure gold is not only an element, aurum, metal, lump, thing, object, jewel, but also wealth, beauty, fame, glitter, color, primacy, jealousy, fever, infatuation, lust, kitsch, power, security, constancy, conductor, yellow and gold, gray and silver. Of times, the signed characters gain such attention that we want to talk about welfare using the denotation lunacy. We cannot distinguish or control whether the interpretation is superordinate or subordinate to follow the copy. We let them contest liberally for our attention. <coughs> when adult, the daughter is incapable of being simply loved. She uses all means to protect herself from it because she's subconsciously afraid of that fixed tyranny. And when she doesn't get it, she feels unloved. But she, bla she may blame her mother for it, since that part of her memory which is closer to acting makes a decision to register the father only in the moment when he confesses his love for her mother, because this is how that part of the memory wants it. Or when he blames her mother that it is, that is all her fault. And father always tells truth. Mother, she only weeps silently and suffers in darkness. Fault. Rather, describe the color of clear water. Some aspects phenomena of seemingly assumable, such as this model example restricted to a relation between two ingredients in a crucial situation and possible impact, probable result of such an equitation. However, such related ingredients generally occur in multiple numbers and many decisive situations we don't even notice or some conscious, subconsciously reject that they are happening and everything is in constant movement and change in more than we are able to intentionally process. Moreover, a day is framed by structure of winking into separate moving pictures where either time of closing the eyes, subjects and actions can break away from them. We are penetrated, stockpiled, but by much more than we are aware of. And there is an ungraspably vast space of impulses which activate specific parts of our memory. Let's say even those which we do not want or deny having inside. I can see the temperature of the water, I can hear the temperature of the water. 
we retain is far less than it is retained by itself without us. Absolute control over memory is impossible, which means we are only partially responsible for our own reactions and subsequent actions. And the sui juris status is then, on contrary to profane logics, a reference to socially bearable irresponsibility. A generally agreed truth, which is a traffic regulation and the year zero. Apart from what we got used to call a personality, we are also containers of visual, audio, tactile, atmospheric smog. We treat on with extreme difficulty, for we haven't the slightest idea of how much we are transporting. Our bodies are both biological and cultural, but nature does not differentiate it. In addition, the case that I'm mentioning is limited in time in the space of knowledge and circumstances since, if I were to be a fair judge, I would have to be familiar with the childhood of both the father and the mother and the childhood of their parents or even grandparents. The situation, how I describe it, as the daughter remembers it, does not prove guilty, neither the father nor the mother. Automatically, I think I sympathize with the mother, but I see her as a victim and feel sorry for her, thus degrading her unto a wreck. Also, because she exploits her condition in phallocratic, heterosexist, racist, West-centric world for even greater self-pity with the benefit of unloading the responsibility for her self-determination. Sometimes momentary gains are indeed more important to us than final consequences of a great failure. Or we do not distinguish, do not name precisely what is a win and what is destruction, what is unintentional and what is intended. Smashing the face, looking at us from the mirror, it is exactly reversed to our ones. Changing the color of night sky behind our car into red by breaking scene by a different mirror. I cannot derive precise impact of this situation upon daughters, adolescents and adulthood upon her ability to be a wife, a mother, since despite all that, the un doubly is a change of a beneficial effect of influence of third subjects upon her. It is, however, undeniable that such a stressful environment, what is worse, stress or beating, does not give a child dimension of security, orientation in essential sensory motor values of good and evil, love parenthood, and can lead, for example, to panic fear of blackbirds. And it is this which will be the main reason of her choice of profession, half-conscious form of self-appeasement with a traumatic experience. Yes, the entire childhood could later be perceived as one experience because big leading subjects tend to minimize, absorb small subjects into groups. Distance, remoteness has the same effect. Distant subjects seem as a group. From the opposite perspective to a small subject, distant ones can also appear like a group, e.g. To e top 10,000 and so on, big, small, distant, close. If the distance or greatness or smallness is, is remarkable, it goes so far as declaration that there is non-living environment there, that there is nothing there. The past used to talk about the geographical end of the world, which from perspective of ancient Rome was also Istropolis, a town spreading along the river Istros, today's Danube, today's Bratislava, meaning fame of brothers. Because they had never been able to cross that river over there, and a short time ago, I had to explain to my six years old daughter why Red Indians don't live in India, which made me formulate clearly and briefly the history character of mankind language error. Perhaps there is love between black and white, and gray is then lover's bed, and to breathe means to absorb the space, thus consequently be its inseparable part. And it is bigger than me, that space, that heart, that had like post-mortem decay and other similar mi migration activities, also the nomad air, it is a description of various details such as dust, sin, the bus, microbes and lies and my foot sweating into earth. And from there, through the sponge of my skin, those microbes penetrate me at the most eastern borderline of Austria, which is the most western borderline of Hungary. When we stand there, facing each other, we won't come to an agreement about the right and the left. The right laugh and left laugh. Up, down, small, big, front, back, light, dark. Thus, the declaration that there is nothing there is also a political, ideological, strategical, propagandistic, defensive, protective construct. A microbe has no idea about being part of the body, and the body does not fully realize how microbic it is against the earth, and the earth against the universe, and with the word universe we will stop. 
because our knowledge and imagination generalize the uncontainable. We consist of cells and atoms and even smaller particles, but we do not give any meaning to this information that holding communion with our own existential ontological mirages, everyday decision making. We take it for granted and make use of it automatically. A look at the night sky offers a huge dark area, which is truly a deep space, of course, and several luminous spots or moves, stars and so, up there. We think the darkness, night and blackbirds, which is among them, means there is nothing. Or if we think uh, there is something, that something unknown will stand for exciting, spooky, we might even tend to think that not the large one, but rather the invisible is the leading. Some stars, even where, where, when more distant, appear closer because their light intensity or, or size is bigger. Read Ray Carver, Luck, Kayak, 1979, Tendril 1980. Sometimes the more visible doesn't mean larger or closer. Now and then, bigger does not mean the subject's volume parameters, but other qualities, characters for which we regard or call it great. From time to time, the invisible, little faintly lit, or feebly ra radiating the presentiment of presence, that conspiration of presence, is more attractive than the visually prominent. At times, that very bright does not mean radiation, but reflection of a different source, which may also be covered by another body, a bigger subject, so we can only ponder upon its size character. Therefore, sometimes it is not a star, but the moon. Like the daughters uh, uh, regulating the distance and intensity of fathers and blackbird sound, observation and viewing of stars, too, is subject to such a perception. We will believe that the biggest, the, the brightest star is one's, the one we see, another time the one we don't. And since our past is increasingly big, our future is increasingly small. But don't worry, your eyes will get used to darkness on an evening boat on the Danube River from Bratislava to Vienna. Go against the sun, go with the sun. There is no presence here. Even Medvedev, during his visit to Slovakia, on 6th to 7th April 2010, did not apologize for the fucking terror between 1948 and 1989, or for the aggression of, of 1968. Within his agenda, within the perception from Russia's Soviet Union's point of view, Czechoslovakia, Slovakia, has been nothing but a noticeable problem-creating unit of their bloc. We, as the small one, naturally sense his, their, attitude as utmost arrogance. Thus, we regard Russia as a group from our point of view. And in order not to be absorbed again, regarding ourselves as a group too, we must shine more brightly. And it is up to our consideration whether we do it by our own emanation or by reflecting some stronger, bigger body. Since we will not be any bigger, yet we can still prove certain importance which will change us from the invisible to the prominent. That is accomplish accomplishable. And time, childhood, regarded from adulthood point of view, is also another relevant form of distance. That presence is only a cursor, that street is a kingdom of cars, cops and amateurs. I'm attached to this cursor with my face backwards, looking back at the only comprehensible fact in my life, which is the past. Static in constant movement ahead, against that most motivating vision, which we used to call the future. In Slovakia, Life goes from left to right, but text in Israel reversally. And Slovakia was denoted as West before World War II and East after 1948 and as center after 1989 and North from the ancient Rome viewpoint. And actually, why do we separate one huge compact part of Earth into, into two continents, Europe and Asia? Can names and method methodology of cartographers of fucking Yalta be detected? This is an analysis, autopsy of a joke. An analysis and a joke itself do not share one fundamental principle. Analysis does not make us laugh. Analysis is not, for, not here for making us laugh. Thought that does not have to be excluded. Analysis performs an autopsy on a joke, thus killing it. Yes, understanding of why we laugh can mean, um, 
can mean castration of the ability of, uh, to love. And vice versa, the system of decomposition of comprehension can still bring along exceptionality to produce even more funny jokes. We need the four-ply ability. First, talent, a certain gift. Second, realization of this gift. Third, pro progressive development of this gift, which depends also from favor of our spontaneous environment. Fourth, ability to communicate, make use of, sell this gift. This is an illustration of belief in possibility capability uh, to choose and thus modify all by um, oneself the principality of contents because there is never just one content. However, since we live normative lives, the future of this talented child is formed mainly in the period, period when it is totally dependent from others. And if factual information wants to hold somebody's interest and it does want, because it feels the, uh, the importance of, of its message and wants to share it, it will integrate in itself a story and necessary poetical turning points and it will tonalize them. This is a lyricized prose and these are pro uh, prosaic lyrics. This is a cafe chat outside of any esotericism, spiritism or such. This is an atheist uh, elucidation, materialistic reflection on areas of impression, anti-dualist pragma of presentiment, right-wing anarchist holism of non-gnosis and such. And therefore we will agree with the fact that the brain is one of several organs of, of many innards. We will insist that there is no soul and no spirit, and that the body, but only the body and polarity and multipolar disorder and sperm together with ovum are transporters of genetic information commonly creating uh, another being, another beings. The head, the brain is a crown of the body. It is a ruling organ, however, not completely superior. For what can it do without the satisfactory function of heart or the liver? Nevertheless, majority singularization of plurality paradoxically uh, cares less about brain than about muscles. Psych uh, psychiatrists, uh, psychotherapists are threat. We do, do not acknowledge them. We are afraid of them. We are more terrified of what uh, is in our head than uh, what is in our stomach. In Europe, we do not consider stomach mystical, but the brain and the sexes we do. Yet, our question still remains whether sperms and ovules contain in accordance with information on the presence and uh, uh, history of their carrier's bodies, also the information on their momental condition. After all, psychics is contained in the body hole. When we are afraid, we sweat differently. Doc can recognize it. Unlike human, we register only that the sweat smells bad. But we do not know what is the sweat of fear and what is the sweat of excitement of others. We digest differently, our hands tremble, and our teeth snap. We cannot sleep even if we are totally exhausted, and we diffuse a lot of biochemical swinishness, swine, filthy creature, into ourselves. South ahead, north behind, west right, east left, on the way to work. Hereupon, a sperm, head and tail movement, and ovum must really contain these data. It is trivial. A woman, a girl, is afraid of getting pregnant, and man, a boy, is zealous about having sex. And yes, he enjoyed it. She was so frightened. Beautiful. Beautiful fright? And her <coughs> concerns were in place, so a child, children, conceived. Shit, what we shall do now? In such a moment, we will be an offspring of a fear and excitement. A progeny who has not been asked whether he or she wants to come into this highly exclusive wor world which they themselves cannot afford. North ahead, south behind, east right, west left, on the way from work. DNA of that girl comes out of her mother and, and her father. DNA of, of her sister has the same base. DNA of her daughter comes out of her and the father of her child. She has 25% from her grandma. DNA of, of the father of her child has nothing to do with hers, providing that their uh, predecessors do not co coincide, which is not excluded since Slovakia, where they live, has only 5 million inhabitants, and even in us, Slovaks. There are Jews, Hungarians, Moravians, and Turks, and Gypsies, and, and Roma, and in our daughter, also a Ukrainian. We separate in order to help ourselves comprehend, understand, own, and thus secondarily creating con contradictions in areas where they are not at all. Contradiction, en bloc, is a human interpretation of ungraspable. 
nature does not know contradictions, from psychedelics into hallucination. We use contradiction for representative naming of a thing which we do not understand, do not know. Representation could also be uh, utilized, uh, e.g. in choosing a profession, such as in a case of, of mentioned story of the daughter ornithologist. Representation is coding, encryption, masking, the ciphering of which is crucial for self-cognition, but not necessary for elementary being. Representation and non-gnosis refusal of knowing can, on the other hand, help us that su uh, surviving. And, and uh, contradiction of contradiction is that the contradiction is a normal human secretion, like squeaking of the mutting call of blackbird. Contradict, dick, dick, dick. And if a man is a nature, he is, then even a contradiction will be nature. So, 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 there is nothing which would be not a nature. Oxygen and oxymoron is representation. And yes, e.g. sexuality can get out of control, not only in such a trivial way, even though maybe with terrible consequences, uh, at least on unwanted children, of the rest of the body, I mean of the brain and so on, and absorbs much more than e.g. me would wish. E.g. me is inclined to sacrifice a lot to e.g. sexuality. Even e.g. sexuality is able to be so insatiate in, in so far that is determined to be absorbed by e.g. me in sense of irresponsibility of that e.g. me. E.g. are initials of Egon Grabstein. Perhaps the father's motive for abusing the mother was sexual frustration and the mother's one was sexual satisfaction.